So the first step in completing the shroud breaker is going to be starting the tool tail. What you're going to want to do is head to any outpost and go to the tavern and in the back corner you should see the mysterious stranger. Just to the right of him there should be the shroud breaker book. You're going to vote on it just like you would any other voyage and then you've started the tool tail. For the next step you're going to want to head to page 10 of the shroud breaker book. It's going to tell you to go to an unmarked island between Crook's Hollow and Crooked Masts. Now, if you go over to the table, you will notice between, oh, sorry, between Crook's Hollow and Crooked Masts, there's no island. That's because in N13, there's an unmarked island which you need to go to. Now, depending on what angle you're coming in from, you should see this small group of islands, which looks very tropical and sort of out of place from the rest of these islands and these rocks this is where you're going to want to anchor up once you arrive at the island you're going to want to head to the northwest side and in the water you should see a broken shipwreck you're going to want to go into the captain's quarters and there should be this like scroll or these it will be named the pages of the magpie's wing you're just going to want to pick them up and it will add some pages into your book so you're going to want to go to the new pages in your book and if you just follow the directions it will pretty much just tell you where to go uh, so for me it's saying go to the south of discovery ridge and then they start fleeing southeast they go to a large tangled nest of islands which is this, and then they go east by southeast. And then throwing the chest into the waters north of a small isle, continuing east. And he's talking about Lookout Point. So he will throw the chest in the waters just north of Lookout Point. Very, very simple. It's, it's different between each person. So if you just follow the steps very carefully, you will be taken to the treasure. So, once you are on the island, you just want to come to the North Beach. Uh, all you have to do is you just run to the water. <coughs> and you will see your chest. A little, a little shine at the bottom of the sea ocean. You might have to get the angle right to see it, because from the side that I came in, it wasn't the most obvious thing. But uh, if you come from that side or this side, you can pretty much see it from a mile away and this is where you want to get your chest and then from this you will get your your totem and then it will decide what island you go to another robo so once you open up your chest you will get some pages and a totem this totem also changes on a player to player basis so as you can see here we have a scarab totem the scarab totem is going to take us to crook's hollow however there are f four other ones five other ones sorry you can get the boar totem crab totem moon totem scarab totem snake totem and shark totem so i'm just going to list off where you need to go for each one if you have the boar totem you need to head to Devil's Ridge. If you get the Crab Totem, you need to head to the Uncharted Island at N13. If you get the Moon Totem, you need to head to Crescent Isle. Scarab Totem, Crook's Hollow, like we have to. Snake Totem takes you to Mermaid's Hideaway. And the Shark Totem takes you to Kraken's Fall. Uh, yeah, so once you're there, there will be a little pedestal that you place it on and it should open up a cave which you will see so once you get to crook's hollow you want to just come in from the south side i believe yeah come in from the south side and you're just going to want to head into the underground cave system you want to head towards the waterfall on the other side and just here is where you want to and now is the main part where you sort of have to have to think. Uh, so you go to your new pages, and on the right side, 
you'll notice these these Im these images you're going to have to put them in order on all four of these and enter a solution so i will show you that now i'm going to want to light these Ears, whatever, however you say that word, and just enter the uh, the code. Water will fill up this uh, like this room, so you're going to want to be quick. But uh, they give you a nice amount of time anyway, so it's not to stress over doing it quick. Are just the same and, and now in this table is some images and a light which is going to show you where you want to dig so you're just going to find where these images are on the island and go and dig up some uh, medallions which go in those three holes right there you will get bothered by some some cool little cool looking skeletons which I quite like, so I, I, I let them live. <laughs> so you're going to get two more of these, and you're going to want to just do the exact same thing. They can't come in here for some reason, but uh, yeah. So you're going to want to go and find the next one, which is just to the right in this little gap here. These rocks that will unlock a new image. And the, the images are the same on, the, like all, not, not on all islands, but for Crook's Hollow, this will never change. It's always going to be the same images and places that you need to go. So I spent, the, the first time I did this, about 20 minutes looking for that Squidward's house looking thing. It's very simple how to get there now. <laughs> now I know. So you're just going to run out of the cave, go to the left, run around the island. It's at the very top, but I will, I will show you. So you're running around, head up top, head towards the very back of the island. Make sure not to fall in this hole. So it's um, so around the back of this cave here, and to the left of it. So I keep running past to the left, and here is here is uh, Squidward's house. I'm just going to right now to get the, the last medallion and you could be like me and be risky but if you want to take the safe route down up to you this will be the last uh, medallion that you need to unlock the vault and get the shroud breaker and then you will be on to the last part of of the tail which is just Breaker. So a little rock will move and reveal the shroud breaker, which in my opinion looks pretty pretty cool. So for the last step, you're just gonna want to go to the tavern at any outpost, go over to the mysterious stranger like you did at the very beginning, and just hand over your shroud breaker, and then you'll be given some really long story which you you don't need to listen to so you can just run away and go and live your life you know as a pirate <laughs>